easily one of the best Airbnbs I've ever stayed in. Here we go. I have been living in South Korea for about a year now, and I moved to Seoul in February, and let me tell you, the difference between Busan and Seoul. It is so fast-paced in Seoul, Seoul Bali Bali, it is nice to take a weekend to just get away, and that's what we're doing in this video. But first, oh, why does she look like she's dying? It's because she about threw up on the subway because she was running so fast, because this girl thought that she could make it to Jump Shill Station, see the cherry blossoms, look at me frolicking, thinking I have all the time in the world. Nope, no, you did not. I literally made it back onto my bus with three minutes to spare. Lots of sweat to just carry with me throughout this bus ride. But anyways, let's get out of Seoul, shall we? Also, can we just take a moment? Can just, just take it in? This is organizational heaven in the middle of a bus stop. That's the employee of the month, maybe employee of the year. I just gold stars, 10 out of 10, round of applause, could never be me, but love that for her. Anyways, let's go to Busan. <laughs> Easily one of the best Airbnbs I've ever stayed in. The lighting is so bad, so I'm looking up, but they set the mood upon my arrival. This place is just next level tour because like I have to. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't think you're ready. First of all, we have a whole other door to block noise. Love that, but. Can we just, can we just talk about what we got? Can we talk about what we got going on? We have a whole, look, I mean, <laughs> look at the view, look at it. And they have this adorable, I love this little setup so you can just sit and look outside. I also, I love this lamp. The mood has been set. So much storage. Like, holy crap, more extra stuff if you have another friend, more storage because we didn't have enough. Oh, those close fast. This is, <laughs> this is the fridge. Ow. The beautiful fridge. Oh, thank you for the water. Beautiful fridge. Freezer down there per usual. Still haven't found the, oh, I have found the lights. <sighs> And this kitchen though, <gasps> this kitchen, guys. I'm just like, how much is this rent? Like monthly? I can't even, with that view, I can't even. <gasps> this is my first time seeing the bathroom, but. Can, can we just, can we? This place is so, so nice. Definitely one of the nicest Airbnbs I have ever resided in. It smells so fresh in here too, and like so clean. We've got books in Korean. I'll be reading those up. Practice my Korean. <laughs> but I am, I'm quite literally starving, so I need to eat something. Um, let's set the mood again, shall we? <laughs> I'm shook. I've got a book. I've got myself. We are going to go awkwardly eat dinner by myself on a Friday night on Guanoli Beach. But honestly, I'm so happy to just have me time. Nicest, nicest place I've ever stayed, so. Did I over order? I did. I did. But I thought to myself, honestly, I get pretty anxious sometimes to go out to eat by myself. And so I was thinking like, if I order a lot of food now, then I can eat this also for lunch tomorrow and it can be like a combo. Look how pretty that street is. Just being all aesthetic and crap. So there are no words in the English language 
I can describe how excited I am right now, but also overwhelmed. The amount of, <laughs> oh, the amount of food. First of all, great people, wonderful, loved them. First off, fried shrimp. It is the only seafood I actually like is shrimp. I can see they got like the little heads though. Don't, here we go. Stop. I can't, wow, that's good. Next up, fried rice. Oh, it smells amazing. Give it one of these, give it one of those. Cause I saw them, oh, saw them, oh. I saw them do that in the video, hold on. I need silverware. Here we go. Wow. Amazing. What I'm most excited for is the chicken. I really wanted chicken. <sighs> did I over order? I did. Here we go. This is so good. Oh my gosh. And pickled radish, very Korean style. Little salad. I'm happy. Amazing. I just need a second person. I saw on his sign that it's like fried in coconut oil, which is supposedly a lot better for you. I would say the trip started off well. Okay, calm down. Calm it down, calm it down, calm it down. It's such a good combination. Oh, a little bit of rabbit food helps the fried stuff go down. I need to go walk like 10 miles, but like so worth it. I can't end on rabbit food. I need one more bite. All right, off to go to my happy place. I don't know where that is, but I'm happy. So wherever I am, that is the place. <laughs> If I don't go walk, probably nobody else in the world is like this. But if I eat and I lay down, I feel horrible. I feel so sick if I lay down after I eat. I have to walk. It's 9.15. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the uh, after effects of having all that food. I need to do some of this. Well, it's just me. Yeah, I need to do some of this. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings down Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, Every time I come back here Specifically to Guanali Beach Guang, Guangali Because this is where I used to live I used to live right off this beach And um Life just the older you get, the messier it gets, honestly. The more amazing it can get, and yeah, for sure. The, the older you get, the more you can explore the world and make decisions for yourself. But then at the same time, the more time that you have on earth, which is a gift, the time that you're given is a gift, but the, the more you collect experiences, you experience heartache and heartbreaks, it gets hard. And I don't know why I come back here because I would say that most of the feelings I have in relation to Guanali Beach are maybe more negative than positive, but I think I'm trying to switch that. I think I'm here because I want to switch my perspective and realize that that season of my life was really growing and it got me where I am now and where I am now, I'm so thankful and happy for. So mix of emotions, but overall, they're leaning towards thankful. Yeah, it's just the way we do it. Anything just to block out the real life, real life. Yeah, we're loving the way they think we're so messed up. up. Even if what we're doing is bad. You hear my noise machine? <laughs> As you can see, the little my face hard. <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. 
not the mess, the, this right here. I've stayed in over 20 Airbnbs in South Korea. A majority of them do this thing. Wow, I got eye cheese for days. Wait, I wanna know what you call that stuff that gets in the corner of your eyes that you have to like this. I've also called it eye buggers. What do you call it? Now I'm curious. But a lot of Airbnbs don't have like light blocking curtains. They just have like these aesthetic curtains. Last minute, I remembered to grab the sleeping mask. Do you see how bright it is right now? It is not even, I think it's nine something in the morning. It was bright at seven. I would have been so mad if I forgot it and I couldn't sleep because it was this bright in my room. Because like one of the things I came here was like, I just wanted to relax. And today has been the first day <clears throat> For the first time in forever. I'm not awake enough for this. I was able to sleep in today and not have a care in the world, not have any worries on my mind. And I would have kept sleeping, but I've woken up so many times at this point and like forced myself to go back to bed. I kind of got sick of forcing myself to go back to bed. So I was like, let's get up and get on with the day because I have a lot. I do have plans to meet with a friend and we're gonna probably just get coffee and, and talk and go on like a nice little walk because it's beautiful outside. Time to continue my way through the Old Testament in no particular order, but also kind of just wanting to like read more of the Old Testament. But anyways, I'll catch in with you guys later. Please in the comments, like what is this? <laughs> what is this outfit giving right now? Because it's not good, but I'm sure that they've seen worse at the convenience store, so. She go fast. We're going through the universe. The moon. As I suspected, as I should have known, it is so sweet. I was like, do I just get the Americano? I don't like Americanos, but do I just get the Americano because I know it won't be incredibly sweet? So we have some instant coffee packets here in this Airbnb. It's not the like hard instant coffee that like really has to be dissolved in hot water. It was like a powdery one. So I had a little bit more hope and I do think it made it darker, which makes me hopeful as well. Let's see. I mean, I would just say it's equally just as bad, but like, it's just a new type of bad. Time to read and time to get some stuff done. At some point, I also have to look presentable. <sighs> I hate being a girl. Like currently this is, I'm not present. I don't have any makeup on. I don't use all of the filters that a lot of influencers use. A lot of influencers use filters on their face when they record videos. And I think that the reasons why they have to do that is because they're so in the public eye. In Korea, it's just, it's so normal to use filters, but probably a lot, a lot of people that you think have perfect skin that are influencers and all that stuff, they don't actually really have perfect skin. You can tell by, there'll just be moments where the filter flashes or they'll make like an appearance in maybe someone else's vlog and the filter isn't on them. And then you see like their real face and you're like, oh, that is equally as beautiful. Like you don't need the filter, but they still do the filter just because it's society's pressure of you have to look a certain way. So should I use a filter? I probably should, but I don't care. You guys know I'm real, I'm just myself. And if someone wants to tell me about how I look like a dead person, I know I do. You're just telling me what I know. I know that I don't really look like I have a lot of life in me because you're used to seeing me with makeup on. Dead person doesn't mean ugly. It just means I look tired because I, I am always tired. And when I get hate comments, it just makes me feel sad because if that person feels some sort of validation or feels some sort of like positivity in leaving a hateful, disgusting comment, they clearly have something that they're going through or pains in their heart that they have not satisfied. And for me, 
I know my worth and my value and my image is in what God sees me and he sees me as beautiful even if I'm looking a little dead or if I'm looking all dolled, dolled up. And I rest in that appearance. I rest in that image. I don't rest in like society's standards. So here's all the pimples I have. My eyelashes that don't look like they have. Do you see how blonde my eyelashes are? That's why when my mascara is on, it's like, wow. And when my mascara is off, it's like naked mole rat. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and I'm gonna be productive. If you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that this ramen place holds a special place in my heart. I love it so much, I have to come. Every time I come to Busan, I have to come. So I'm so excited! Y'all, the way my heart dropped when I saw the sign, but I was like, no. They're just not open yet. And then a line started forming behind me and I was like, yes, I know, I know what I'm doing. I love this place. So anyways, you just order off of the machine. It is so dang good. I'll put the address in the description if you ever go to Busan. Oh, hey, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, we could be friends. I post a lot on there. I post a lot more actually than YouTube. But then anyways, we have Hope. I guess, I don't know if you guys know who Hope is, but she lives in Busan. She also makes YouTube videos as well. She's my home girl. We met for the first time today and we literally just had the best time together. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful. We went to this beautiful cafe, just had a wonderful like little heart to heart conversation. So anyways, enjoy the aesthetics of the cafe. Puppy, oh, puppy, I forgot the puppy. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh, he loves his daddy so much. Okay, enjoy the aesthetics. Also, if you want authentic New York style pizza, I'm not kidding, this place was so good and the view was stunning, I'll link it below. But the pizza's legit, guys. No random awkward sweetness, the Korean style, spontaneous illegal sweetness that they add to pizza. No, this was legit, it was good. And then as we're walking, we see all these random men in this big blue tarp and we're like, well, this looks important. And we realize it's a drone show. Did you know drones have little shows? It's like a little ballet in the sky. It's amazing. They're all on the ground. Whoa. Those are drones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pretty. Hi. Hi. If you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, they're one of my favorites, but I guess I'm biased because we're friends. I basically just filmed my life in Busan with my husband, June. American Korean couple you met in America. We met they in have, America. They have a really good video about how they met. Just wanted you guys to know my favorites. Oh, <laughs> that's really sweet. That's all. <laughs> I've never had one of these before and Hope told me it's her favorite kind. So. Wow. Oh, I love it. Wait, does it come out? How do you get it out? How do you get it out? I got it. This tastes like a Frosty from like Wendy's. Maybe a little less sweet, but it's like fluffy, like airy and fluffy. Today was just such a good day, like good talks. One of my favorite things to do is to have meaningful conversations with people. What a day. Now it's time to be productive. Cheers. And just like that, my trip to Busan was over. Sad day. I literally want to go back so badly, but if you enjoyed this vlog, I'm going to link another vlog here on the screen. I don't sound quite as much like a man in that one because I'm currently sick and I haven't had a voice in like a week. But anyways, I'll see you over there.